What's up, people? Atomic Tofu here. Today, making a review of Wei Jing's Battle Damaged MPP 10. Got this from Shozi Store. And this one uh, confused me a little bit because it seemed like the uh, MPP 10 Battle Damage was released in two runs, or one run that was divided up into two groups. I have no clue how to word that. Anyways, this is the box, the main box this figure comes with. Also, its base is separate. I'm going to open up the base first. Seems like the same size box as the uh, MPP-10 standard version. Let's scroll up a little bit so you can see the Wei Jing emblem here. B2B partner, limited edition, exclusive. Evolution Metamorphosis of Mecha Vehicle number one. I think that's the only one, too. There's no, not going to be a number two, three, four. Just number one. Styrofoam, top and bottom. This is the rock base or the diorama base. Mm -hmm. Mine says... Number 771 of 4,800. So, eh, near the top, but not quite. I hope whoever's out there looking for MPP-10 standard or battle damage version gets this, because it's not going to be a lot. Open this up. And put it to the side. It's pretty heavy. Let's open up this box. This box kind of has a similar setup as um, Thunder Leader. It's got like that inner product sleeve. Had it turned up, turned on another light. It's not too dark. Again, the Weijang emblem, Immortal Passion, made in China. That's it. Immortal Passion. Not all damaged. Nice hard work. Model World, that's also another, looks like a manufacturing name for Waging, Model Wizard, Model World Box. He looks to have the same accessories as the standard MPP-10 rifle, X, metal X, Energon X, looks like the matrix right there, on the top, matrix right over here, and the spike right there, I think is his little feet. Oh, there's two guns. Oh, yeah. A bigger rifle. So I'm not sure if this is in the standard one or not. I actually have it boxed up. I might check this at the very end. So, let's see. Let's do this for now. Oh, no. Different set of hands. Okay. Let's get these boxes out of the way. So I did check the packaging for my standard MPP-10, and he does not have this extra rifle, this larger extra rifle. The larger extra rifle, I initially thought it was smoked dark plastic, but it is not. Okay, so there is a, I guess, light-up effect for this. I don't have any batteries right now. I might do at the very end. There's a little bit of dry brushing 
on this gun, this rifle, a little bit. Clear blue on the back. So I'm curious to see how this looks. I hopefully we'll have batteries that I can show you at the very end. Okay, let's decide for now. So these are fully articulated fingers. Let's see what he comes installed with. These are one and threes. One and threes and fixed thumb. Okay, so that's what that is. We got the same thing as my standard MPV 10. One and three. Okay. Let's bring out MPP 10 standard. He comes installed with the uh, Autobot logo on his shoulder now. So I have my reading glasses on. I'm, I'm looking at these two figures with a fine eye right now to see if there's any perceivable differences aside from the obvious paint job. And no, there is not. Okay, dull plastic. I guess this would be standard plastic. So you can see there's a chrome, chrome, dull plastic, plastic, dull plastic, chrome, dull, dull plastic, plastic, gray, dark gray, and then this is like a, a very matte gray. And of course, the strange thing is the blue. This is like a, a sun faded, sun damaged blue. And this is like a navy blue, right? Fixed fingers. Now, uh, if I was to find any emblems to go here, they would have to match the dull, dark, brick-like gray, uh, red. That will be, I think, a pretty good challenge to find. Same exact feet. Same exact detail. Rubber tires with a little bit of gray added on to it to look, make them have that worn down look. And the hubcaps are also dirtied up with road grime. Drive 
brush on the inside. So I hope whoever held out on MPP-10 was able to get their copy of one version or another. Evangelion version, clear version. I did not get the Nemesis version because that was, to me, uh, not a very appealing color scheme. So as anyone who's had uh, MPP-10 versus MP-10, you'll notice that Wei Jiang reversed the uh, thigh design here and also added one more section to the shin vents that also lengthened the entire lower leg so that he was not so uh, gorilla armed. Right. Not too gorilla armed. You could even shorten his arms like that if you wanted to. Make him shorter arms. One short, one longer. If you want to. I think these are like tempo effects on here. Very, very short. Very clean. I like the frosted windows, so it goes on the foot and the sides. Nice. See how he holds this gun, this rifle, this larger rifle. Thumb can or not. I'm gonna say not. What do you guys think? Oh, it does. It wedges in there. Okay. Oh, so the. The large rifle does. Tab on. Oh, okay. It does hold it. Holds it quite nicely. MPP-10 is rather large, so if you don't have the space for them, uh, you won't have to deal with what I'm dealing with. Of course, I am doing a review area, and it's very limited. I don't have super long arms to reach out behind the camera. So, that's it. And let's see how this guy fits on the diorama. Ooh, I guess of his feet peg on like that. So, like that. And that is cool. Okay. And back a little for you to see. A very nice piece to finish this off as a statue figurine, not a toy. Very nice. Let's see how he looks next to Fire Scorpion. Fire Scorpion looks small next to these guys, next to MPP-10. Fire Scorpion looks to be half a head smaller, half a centimeter, half an inch, one centimeter shorter than these two. Let's see. Okay, that's all for me for now. Pick yours up at Show's e store before they're all gone get one version pick MPP 10 standard or battle damaged
and those are the two that are available at Shoji store right now. I'm kind of um, hoping Shoji does have maybe the Evangelion trailer, because I'll get that if I can.